Hey y'all, here's a quick video about my radio alarm setup. I've had a few questions, so I thought I'd make a quick uh, reply video. This is the table I've built for it. Um, I'm just using a single piece of particle board. I've got it split in the middle and put uh, end to end. So I've got a 16, or, yeah, 16 foot long table for it. That's so I can uh, rip boards. This here is just a piece of um, decking. You can buy it at Lowe's. It's a 16 foot piece. That way I can use it as my as my fence for uh, sliding boards across to rip them. So you need to have, if you're going to be doing edging with it, or jointing, I mean, you need to have a really straight fence on this. So that was the quickest thing I could think of to use as a as a perfectly straight fence. So this was one 16 foot long piece of uh, piece of decking. So I put it on here, screwed it down, and then went ahead and just cut through it like that after I had it perfectly straight. This here is something I whipped up really quickly just to catch some of the dust. It's just an old like soup can. And I just did it like that. I, uh, like I said, I use it less for cross cuts like this and more for uh, rip cuts. So normally, let me see if I can get this around. Normally it's like this here. This here was a lot longer and I cut it down. It was about this long here, but whenever I twist the head around, it would uh, bang on this. So I didn't like that. It was too inconvenient to be lowering it and adjusting it so I could keep from hitting that. So I cut it off and it still works fine. I don't know why they made it so long, but uh, here's a better shot of this contraption. It was just something I slapped together, but it works pretty well. I'll come up with something better later. Oh yeah, somebody asked about my power switch. It doesn't work. Um, the switch was just too corroded, so I just bypassed it. So if we were to take this off, you would see that there's nothing at all connected to here, and the wires are just all um, connected together here, just loosely. So the plug, um, if, you if you plug this in, it automatically turns on. So what I did is I just ran me a line down from this box here, and there's an outlet here. And the outlet is connected to this switch. Whoops, this switch. And so you turn the switch on and the saw comes on. And also that gives me the ability to plug in the shop vac. So this little shop vac is also um, hooked up to that outlet under the table there. So you turn the switch on, the radial arm saw comes on and the shop vac comes on to uh, take care of some of this uh, sawdust. And so this little setup I have here, it catches about 50% of the sawdust. So not a not a bad uh, use of 20 minutes of time to build that. So a lot of times I will be ripping with this. I've got a lot of saw, sawmill lumber, and so they need to be uh, jointed. So you run it through here. I put this on here because it this thing will kick back sawdust and little pieces of debris from knot holes and whatnot. So you run it through here. And uh, as long as you keep it perfectly on this edge, it'll just go right through there and you can get really good straight cuts off of it. Not saying it's perfectly straight, not saying it's a uh, perfect um, replacement for a standard jointer, but doing, you know, nine foot long boards like I can do on this thing or eight and a half or so. Um, you know, I, I don't have a jointer that's big enough for that. But this thing works really well. On the particle board, I uh, made some homemade paste wax. And that's what I finished it with. So it slides a lot better. And then I went and bought these off of Amazon for like 10 bucks, So I can help push the lumber through while I'm jointing it. Yeah, so I've done, you know, probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 cedar boards lately, jointing them. And uh, works really well. I'll be showing you that project later when it's done with the cedar boards. But uh, yeah, this is this is uh, how I've got it set up. I'm really happy with it. And uh, I'll be making improvements, hopefully better dust collection, 
and stuff like that. So any questions, ask in the comments and like and subscribe. Have a good day.